hello welcome to this video in this video i will show how to extract the unit values from the selected data by using vba macros to accomplish this task i created a custom function which is named as unique data i didn't mention any function arguments to this function so i am closing the bracket thereafter hit enter button here input box displayed on the screen now i am selecting the required data here i am selecting from a2 to a9 click on ok here we can find application return the unique values in the same way let us see how to add the data validation drop down for the unique data for this purpose, I created one more custom function which is named as unique data drop down. This function also doesn't consist of functional arguments. So I am closing the bracket. Hit enter button. Now input box displayed on the screen. Here I am selecting the data. Click on OK. Now we can find application created the drop down for all the unique data. Now let us check the coding part. Click on developer tab. Click on visual basic. Open module 1. Here we can find the function which is named as unique data. Now let us check the coding part step by step. First I declared a variable which is named as rng and object data type is range set rng equal to here i am using input box in that input box i mentioned a prompt as select the range thereafter coming to title i mentioned as application dot username by default application considers the name of the user while running the macro at the end i mentioned type equal to 8 which denotes Whatever the data selected in input box, application considered that one as range. Next, I declared a variable dim r as integer, which is useful as a loop variable. Next, I declared one more variable to define the count range, which is named as c range, and object data div is range. Thereafter, I declared one more variable, which is named as criteria. Next time using the for loop r equivalent to loop variable min value of the loop equivalent to range dot row coming to max value of the loop equivalent to I am adding the selected rows count to the range row at the end I am detecting minus 1 to avoid the double counting next I define the range for count function here I consider the criteria. Next time I am using if condition. If application dot oxid function dot count if. Here I am using count if function. This function consists of two functional arguments. First one is criteria range and second one is criteria equal to one. Means application considers only unique records. Unique data equal to unique data concatenate I am concatenating the unique data with comma at the end I am adding the criteria so after completion of looping process I am extracting the data by using write function this piece of code is useful to delete the comma which I had added in the first iteration at the end I am instructing the application to wait for a second so this is brief introduction about this function here I wrote one more function which is named as unique data drop down. This one is useful to add the drop down to the unique records. Except the function name, all the processor is same when compared to the previous one. The moment when data updated in that worksheet, application moves to worksheet change event. Here I created worksheet change event. First I used if condition, 
if function cell value consists of unique data or unique data drop down then i instructed the application to declare the variables to find the function name i used formula local property of range object this piece of code is useful when the function name is unique data here i saved the output which is written by the function in the variable of input data thereafter i used split function and segregate the data based on comma next i used for loop r equal to loop variable zero equal to l bound of post split data max value of the loop is u bound of post split data next i copied the data in all the cells and this piece of code is useful to create the drop down for the data validation if the function name is unique data drop down then i copied the output in the variable of input data next i created validation for the formula i used input data at the end i enabled the events so this is the brief introduction about the coding procedure of custom functions before typing the function make sure events are enabled hope this video is useful to everyone thanks for watching